Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you five tips on how to increase your laptop's battery life. So, getting into it, step number one is your screen brightness. Taking your screen brightness down from 100% to 50% will see an improvement, but it is important to note that taking it from 50% to even the absolute lowest setting won't really have too much of an impact, so it is recommended to take it down to 50% or lower. A little extra tip is to turn off the backlight on your keyboard. Not all, but many devices can see a dramatic improvement if you do this. Now, changing your brightness is different on many devices. Sometimes there are keyboard hotkeys to do this, but on most Windows 10 devices, you should be able to change this in the action center on the button on the far right of the taskbar. Tip number two would be to adjust your power and sleep settings. Settings. To edit these settings, all you're going to want to do is search for power and sleep, and then you will see the option for sleep, and it says on the battery power, PC goes to sleep after. By default, it's either 5 or 10 minutes, so if you are thirsty on power and you don't want to have an unnecessary pattern drain if you are to leave your computer for a little bit, I would suggest even bumping that down to one or two minutes. Third is to unplug external devices. Using an external keyboard, mouse, or other items, pull a good amount of power. Depending on the feature set, you could see as much as a 30% increase in battery life. So in short, do not use your laptop to do things like charge your phone because that will have an even more substantial impact than just a keyboard. The fourth tip would be to close background applications. Applications running in the background may be adding up to a strong power pull. You should close out anything that isn't directly related to your current workload. This means closing additional tabs on your web browser, because as we all know, Chrome loves to suck up system resources for the amount of tabs you have open, and closing apps like Skype, Spotify, any torrent clients you may have, VMware, and anything else. It is important to know that you can check your task manager to see any applications you may not even realize are running. And it's also important to know activities such as gaming or video streaming take up a lot of power. So if you're just trying to get out the last couple emails when you have 5% battery left, try not to be running YouTube videos in the background. And last but not least, number five is to turn on battery saver. This feature will extend the battery life by limiting background activity and other not so necessary features on the computer. The power saver feature will cap your CPU performance and prioritize the cooling methods within your laptop. Another feature within this menu is the ability to see what apps are taking up most of your battery life. Under your current battery level in this setting, you can click on see which apps are affecting your battery life and there it will give you a list of all the applications that are sucking up the most juice. So this is a good way to see what kind of activities you should be limiting when you are running low on battery and may not have access to a a charger right away. Now there is a couple things that I've noticed are on various blog articles and tutorials on things that you could do to increase your battery life that simply either don't work at all or have such a little effect it's not even worth the effort to do. And one of those is disabling USB ports and other devices through Device Manager that doesn't in itself have that strong of a power pull. Lowering your screen resolution may help a little bit, but it's not really worth doing. Turning off Wi-Fi and turning on airplane mode won't have too substantial of an effect unless if you are currently searching for a Wi-Fi network or if you're connected to a very low strength Wi-Fi network it may be worth doing. Next is turning off Bluetooth. This idling does not have a significant power pull even worth considering. And last but not least, the cardinal sin, do not install third-party battery management software or battery power saver software as in many cases these are background running applications and they may actually do the opposite of what they say they're going to do and many of the features that these pieces of software offer are already included in your operating system. So that concludes that video. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down below. I'll have a link to an article that I wrote up on techhut.tv detailing all of this with some extra information, so please feel free to visit that. Subscribe for future videos just like this one. Have a great day, and goodbye.